Hello, we'd like to address today a class on specifically the Isur, the prohibition of listening to music in the time of the Omer, but not generally the Omer, but rather this time that the world is going through the crisis that it's seeing, is there any way to permit listening to music in the Omer in this special time? Well, we like to separate our class and have different issues addressed. First, what is the restriction of listening to music in the Omer generally? Secondly, do we have a place to be lenient if it's a makom tzal, time of pain, time of hardship? Thirdly, do we have generally an obligation to keep mitzvot be makom tzal in a place where a person feels pain or feels that it's, uh, it causes him anguish. Fourth, how about min hagim? Do we keep min hagim our customs? Fifth, is a person obligated to make sure his health is also for the soul, which means we have an obligation to keep our body healthy. It says, Does it apply also to the soul? Does a person must take care of his soul as well and make sure that welfare of that soul is being taken care of. Sixth, when is songs or music permitted in the Omer? Generally, what's the hetel in different scenarios? And seventh, do we have to do hatarat nedarim if we are listening to music? this time. So let's dress one at a time. The first thing is what is the restriction of listening to music at the time of the Omer? This is brought down in the Magen Avraham in Siman Tza, Taf Tzadik Kimer, Seif Katan Aleph. Over there the Magen Avraham just addresses Rikudim Macholot. He says that the Minhag, the custom is in the time of the Omer not to dance Rikudim Umacholot. Rikudim, some of the Mefarshim explain it as it means to dance alone. Rikudim Umacholot. Mecholot means to go around in circles as a group of people. From here, some of the Puskim derived also that music should be prohibited. Why? They say if you can't dance, you surely can't hear instruments of music at this time. This is how the Ucha Shulchan learns, this is how the Minchat Yitzchak learns, this is how the Got Moshe learns, the Mishneh Alachot, the Shevet Alevi, Chacham Ovadia, which means, since you say that music is more strict than dancing, therefore, if dancing is Asur, music definitely should be Asur. But, you can ask on this Kalva Homer, maybe dancing, where you jump, the whole body goes into such a mode of happiness is not the same as listening to music. That's why some wanted to say that that's not the meaning of the minhag, but rather if you can't dance, you can't also hear music that could bring you to dancing. This is how some of them for Shim wanted to learn. Rav Yashif said, really, there's no makor, and you can't derive this halacha of not listening to music from this Magen Avram that restricted only dancing, but rather it's a minhag. It became the minhag not to listen to music. This is how Avil Yashi brings down. It's brought in Ashrish. Now, this is all true, we say, in a normal time of the Omer. What about Bemakom Tzal? Person is in pain. Person feels that if he doesn't listen to music, he gets saddened. He's not, he's not himself. Then, some poskim permitted it. Be, in the Shut Marshag, he brings down, in Ben Ametzarim even, which is much worse, a person that has stress, what is called Nervin, a person that's in stress, is permitted to listen to music to calm him down. Oletzion, in Ben Ametzarim, brings down that if a person is depressed, he could listen to music, which means, in the time of Ben Ametzarim, for a person that's not only a little bit sad, but rather more than that, he has stress, he has depression, even a, a slight depression, such a thing obviously is a sickness of the soul, and one is permitted to use any means to um, take away that pain. In listening to music, which is only a minhag, 
would be permitted, even more so in a time of the Omer, which is much less than Ben HaMetzarim. As the Mepharshim explained, as Tiber breaks down, that people are mistaken. Ben HaMetzarim is a time of Avelut. The time of the Omer is not necessarily a time of Avelut. It's just a very, very high sensitive time that the Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva died in it. So we take that time in order to restrict ourselves in some things, but not all the things as in Ben HaMetzarim. For instance, now a person is allowed to buy and go shopping for different things. He's allowed, if necessary, uh, to say Shecheyanu. He's allowed uh, uh, to cut nails. Sometimes you can shave uh, and, and, and take a haircut. Ashkenazim have different uh, alachot in this than Sfaradim. But whatever it is, it is more restricted in the time of Ben HaMetzarim than the time of the Omer. So we'll take that to the next step. Is a person obligated to keep mitzvot when he is in tsar, in pain? Well, on that Generally, we say, of course, you have to keep all the mitzvot. Chazon of Adya brings down in Sukkot, Davkuf Nun Bet, that there's a distinction between Tsar in a Sukkah, that Chazal tell us that Mitzta'er patur min a Sukkah, because it's Teshvuk and Taduro, because it says a Ezrach, a person needs to be Ra'anan like a Ezrach, only then he's obligated to keep the uh, mitzvah of sukkah, but otherwise, if he's mitzta'er, he has some kind of pain, some kind of feeling of not comfort in such a place, he would be exempt. But that's only a special halacha for sukkah. That doesn't apply to all the mitzvot of the Torah. Chazon of Adya holds like that, halacha lemaaseh, and this is how, almost across the board, the poskim bring down. But there are those that say differently. There are those that say that the sukkah teaches me not only for a sukkah, but it reflects to other mitzvot of the Torah as well. This is how it comes down from the Rosh Yosef. Chazon of Adyar brings this down. This is how it comes down from the Radbaz that permitted shaving in Rosh Chodesh Iyar that's coming up now because of mitzvah. And he learned that from a sukkah, just like a sukkah, mitzvah is patum in a sukkah. So you see that a person that mitzvah, he feels that he needs to shave, he feels uncomfortable. Yes, tzar is permitted to shave. Also, he learns that a chole, a person that's sick, is patum mishnayim ikra v'echat targum, he doesn't have to read it, because we see such a thing in a sukkah, mitzayu patum in a sukkah, same thing would be here. Obviously, Chacham Ovadia says that it's not necessarily uh, one, one like the other, and you can't compare or learn one from the other, and could be that the Radbaz only meant to say that in things that are not so strict, like a minhag, Kal, like this minhag that we're talking about on Giluach. So in that he learned from uh, Sukkah. But otherwise, other mitzvot, of course, a person must keep. But the Or Zawa brings down that it's mutar mishum tsar, that if a person went out of the tchum, which is now not permitted to go out of where he is, for instance, he's in a boat and he's not allowed to leave the boat, because he went outside the tchum, he says that if there's a tsar, a person is allowed to leave, let's say it's raining or any other kind of tsar, that he must leave the boat, he's allowed and permitted, although he's violating the sur of tchumim over here. He learns that kal v'chomer from sukkah, we see that sukkah, a person is mid style. This is how also the Batek Nisiot brings down, but as I explained before, this is a uh, few poskim that bring such a thing, but halacha lema said, definitely a person that's betzar needs to keep the mitzvot, and you can't learn that from sukkah. But when we're talking about minhagim, a person that has a tsar, and we're dealing with uh, making a minhag right now, this already you can permit. That's how Chacham Ovadia brings in Yabi Omer Chelek Hei, in Orachaim Lamed Chet, Ot hey, and he says, Bemakom hadchak before tsar. Makom hadchak, person that person that feels that it's a place that he must uh, be more lenient because it's a stressing situation. He brings down from Fupa scheme that permit to not go according to the minhag because it's makom hadchak. 
the Chinuch Bet Yehuda, Karei Adat, the Gul Mirvava, he brings the Birkei Yosef and Divrei Malkiel, and there's other Puskim as well, that would permit a person, B'makom Atchak, not to follow the custom, the Minhag. B'makom Atzar, Chacham Ovadia brings down in Yabiyah Omer Chelek Bet, and also in Chazon Ovadia. From the Radbaz and Tarat Amaim and others, that Makom Tsar, a person, is permitted not to uh, keep that minhag at the time that he is be Makom Tsar. And because of that, the upper scheme that permitted for a sick person to listen to music in the time of the Omer. Like, for instance, the Diva Shalom, the Nite Gavriel, the Alkut Yosef, and many others say that a person that is sick, a chole, he could listen to to music in the time of the Omer, or the time of Ben HaMetzarim. But, are we talking about the sickness of the body, physical sickness, or sickness of the soul? Many people are having all kind of different feelings now, whether it's stress, whether it's panics, whether it's depression, even slight depression, or all kind of other things that affects a person's soul. Is a person obligated to make sure that he is healthy also in the soul, in the nefesh? The answer to that is absolutely so. One must take care of his spirit as much as he takes care of his body and even more. As the Ran says in Drush, Drushe Aran, Drush Ishi, he says the following, The soul health is more important than the body health. והוא שאמר דוד המלך, אני אמרתי, השם חונני רפאה נפשי, כי חטאתי לך. And he says, כי אין ספק שהנפש יותר חזקת סכנה מהגוף. Being under such a, a, a situation that's categorized as stress, depression, the blues, or anything along those lines could be much more dangerous than a person that has, has a body illness. And this is how the Rambam brings down in Shmoneh Prakim Perek Gimel. He says, Amru HaKadmonim ki yesh la nefesh briyut vechol ikmo sheesh la guf. And he goes in length to explain that one must take care of his nefesh as well. And this is how the Rambam writes also to Melech Mitzrayim, the king of Egypt, in a Igeret special to him. And this is something that we'll find in many different uh, Sifrei Kodesh that stress the importance that one must take care of his nefesh as well. And because of that, sometimes one might feel that he has to be a little bit lenient with some things in order to keep his soul. If you take a look at Minchat Asher, he brings down how important it is, and we spoke about this in the past, how important it is for somebody that, that has OCD not uh, to repeat things that he might have not done correctly. He is very lenient in all different areas, as he brings down also from the stiplers and others, that sometimes a person should not keep certain mitzvot or go to pray or say Kriyat Shema or other things that they speak about over there in order to cure his OCD. And same thing over here, if a person is under such feeling, under such illness of the soul, one must take care of it, whether he has to go to a psychologist, a psychiatrist, or any other professional. And if we're talking about simple cure, a person that feels that he's getting saddened by being stuck in a house, by the situation, by hearing all kinds of different sad news that we hear all day, every day, in such thing he wants to elevate his soul, that is something that is called a sickness, and for that would be permitted. And because of that, some of the poskim, as Chacham Yitzchak Yosef said, that one is allowed to hear music this time for those that are sick. Now, obviously, I think he didn't mean about physical sickness. If a person is physically sick, it's not, music is not going to change from somebody who's healthy, but rather we're talking about sickness of the soul, as we think, we, we're speaking right now. He spoke about being uh, closed in a house, a person that quarantined. Well, everybody's today a quarantine. You don't leave the house. If you leave the house to go shopping once a week, that's not going to make you any difference in the, in the way you feel. But rather, he's obviously talking about a person that's stuck and he has no other choice. And because of that, we come to the question of 
when is it permitted to hear music generally in the Omer? There are many Sfarim that bring down that some music are permitted. Like for instance, it's brought down in Mekadesh Israel, Arav Harfenes, in the Inyanim of the Omer, that if you hear a tape of Chazanut, that come along together with musical instruments, that's permitted. Or if you hear soft music or sad music, both are permitted. This is how Shlomo Zaman Obach brings down that if you hear classical or soft music, such a thing would be permitted. If a person feels that he's, uh, he's afraid not to fall asleep while he's driving, let's say, says the Mekadesh Israel, it's permitted to hear music in order to keep him up. The Nitei Gavriel brings from the Sefer Lorot Natan that if a woman feels that in the house she needs to hear music because she's constantly taking care of the children, taking care of the house, he brings down in the Tag of Real that it's permitted. Lorot Natan has a certain leniency since he brings that it's such a, such a place that we called before Makom Atchak. Also, we're afraid that she's going to try to, uh, she's, if you restrict everything, she might listen to things that generally are not permitted to listen. Because of that, the, the Sefer Lorot Natan permits listening to music and Nitei Gavriel derives that and brings it even to the Omer and he says that it's permitted for such women that constantly taking care of their house and the children, it's very hard for them to listen to music. Now, there are many poskim that also permitted generally hearing music in the Omer. As I explained before, that of Shomo Zaman Obach in Alichot Shlomo is brought down that permits listening to Chazanut or classic music, soft music. But in Sefer Binyan Riel, Rav Zaman Nechemez Goldberg brings down the following, and I'm quoting. Yesh anashim sheshmiat muzika avuram hu davar chiyuni lezorich menuchat ha-nefesh. Some people feel for the menuchat ha-nefesh, to feel calm, to calm them down. They must listen to music. Kedivrei ha-rambam, he brings the rambam that quotes such a thing in Shmona Prakim Perek Hei. Person that feels a little bit of sadness, a depression, the Rambam tells us that when you listen to music, that resolves that pain that a person might have. And therefore says Rav Goldberg, this all the words of the Rambam. Which means a person must take care of his soul by listening to music or doing other things that would cheer him up. And therefore, says Rav Goldberg, This is something that's necessary for the soul, for the spirit. He says, even Ben Ametzarim, he says, it will be permitted to listen because that's not what the Minhag came to forbid. It's not forbidden to a person to keep him healthy in the soul, that a person should feel cheered up. We only restricting music if a person feels good, as Rav Yitzhak Yosef says, a, per- a person is completely healthy, healthy inside the spirit. And he wants to have fun, he wants to listen to music in order to entertain himself. Okay, that's not. But a person that feels that he's stuck in a house and he hears all day bad things and he's dealing with so much stress and the children and the family and everything and the house and everything that com- comes along with it and you're stuck in a house in four walls, that's extremely hard. And he just wants to let out. That's not what Asur says of Zalman Nechemer Goldberg. He brings down from uh, Binyan Ariel as well. That's also in the name of uh, Rav Zalman Nechemia Goldberg. That Yesh Noagim Laaroch Akbala Ben Yemei Ametzarim Lemei Hasfira. Some make a comparison between Ben Ametzarim and Yemei Hasfira, as I explained before. Ulam Yemei Ben Ametzarim Chamurim Yoter. One needs to know Ben Ametzarim is really restricted. Meikar Adin. Bimei Hasfira any sur liknot dvarim chadashim. Kmo ken Bimei Hasfira pasag mishab rashim nizdamen lo ezayin yanchet zech levarich alaf shelchayanu yevarich. 
וכן נראה היא קונקלודס בשמיעת מוזיקה. יש להבחין בין שתי תקופות אלו. You have to make a distinction between these two times. אמנם, באיסור ריקודים ומחולות, גם בימי הספירה, one needs to restrict. Dancing in ימי הספירה, you have to restrict. Now, he brings למעשה, that there is of Moshe in God Moshe, that restricts also in ימי הספירה. But he said before, that will be permitted for a person, if he's not doing it for, uh, for fun purposes. Rather, because he needs to keep himself calm. He needs to keep himself in such a spirit that he would be able to get over this period of time. Rav Nachum Rabinovich, as a Rosh Hashiva of Birkat Moshe, of Ma'ale Edomim, writes in the shoot, Siach Nachum, Siman Lamed Hey, the following. Hayom nafotsu me'od mashmea kol negina mikol asugim. Today you have different kinds of instruments that people use, all kind of tools, all kind of devices to hear music. Uvahem en bahem simcha yatera. That's not considered... extra happiness that was restricted by the minag, כמו שהיה לפנים. כבר נהגו רבים לשמוע מוזיקה, ואין בכך משום עונג מיוחד. There's no special pleasure in that. אולם ודאי בבין המצרים ראוי שלא להזין למוזיקה של שמחה. In the time of בין המצרים, between י"ז בתמוז and תשעה באב, that should be restricted as well, says הרב נחום רבינוביץ'. אמנם בספירת העומר לא נהגו לאסור אלא שמחה של ריקודים ומחולות. This time of the עומר, it's only restricted ריקוד, things that could bring you to dance. If you hear music that doesn't elevate your body and you want to start dancing, he said that's not something that's restricted. In ספר שואלים ודורשים, חלק ד' סימן ל"ז, brings of אליהו שלזינגר, which is a rav of שכינת גילו, אין איזה דיין בבית דין רבנות in ירושלים. He says, יש להתיר לשמוע כלי זמר שלא ילכו לשמוע נגינות אסורות. One should permit listening to music, otherwise people would do things that other things that are not permitted. And this is, by the way, something that we found in other poskim as well. Chacham Ovadia says that radio stations are permitted to put music at the time of the Omer. He says, because otherwise... people that want to listen to music anyway, if there's no music, they'll go to stations that are not Jewish or are not from and listen to music there. Because of that, it's better to put music for those that want to listen anyway. So he says over here, also, if a person might come to listen to music that's not permitted, it's better already that he should listen to regular music. על כן, הדבר פשוט וברור, he says, he concludes, it's simple, שיש להתיר לשמוע נגינה שקטה, גם עם ליווי של כלי זמר בימי הסבירה. It's permitted to listen to soft music in the time of סבירה. וכן שמעתי בשם רבנים גדולים וחשובים שליטה, he says, this is the how many of the rabbis agree with him as well. Many big rabbis גדולים וחשובים שליטה. This is what he writes. But one needs to know that sometimes generally it's מותר. The Arposkim, the permit, for instance, in Erev Shabbat, Friday afternoon, after midday, to hear music. This is how Rav Yosef Bar Shalom writes in Vaitzvor Yosef. This is also how Rav Mazuz, Rav Meir Mazuz Shlita, was posek, instructed that he himself, he said he himself listens to music then. There are those that want to say maybe Motzei Shabbat is permitted, maybe not. There are different opinions on that. Taking... exercise lessons, if a person needs to listen to music in order to exercise, in Imre Eliyahu said it's not permitted, but in the Kadesh Israel of Hafenes, in Siman Samechet, he brings down that it's permitted if you wouldn't be able to exercise otherwise. So we see there are different ways how to permit such a thing. When, we don't, when we're dealing with such a question, the conclusion is, what is it and why is it that you're listen, listening to? What is it? What kind of music? If it's not a music that's elevating you to come and dance, could be that that's permitted. Many, many poskim permit such music. Soft music, what we call classic music, or other kind of music that don't bring you to dance. What about the reason that you're listening? If the reason you're listening is not in order to entertain yourself, but le- rather you need it, you feel that... S- You, you feel closed up, you feel that you, you, you inside, you're being choked. Many people feel that way today. For such people, music would be permitted. And I think that was the psaq of Chacham Yitzchak Yosef, the Rishon Lezion, that for those that feel sick, it would be permitted. For those that are quarantined, 
music would be permitted. And he said, only a healthy person should not listen to music. What kind of healthy and sick people are we talking about? Not physically necessarily, but in the spirit, in the soul. So if a person listens to music just this year, not next year, Be'ezat Hashem, next year everything will be fine. Does he need to do Hatarat Nedarim? The Rema brings down Im Taf Kuf Samechet, that a person that usually takes upon himself to be mitanet, to fast on Bahab, Monday, Thursday, Monday, after Sukkot and after Pesach, and he has a Brit Milah, is allowed and permitted to eat over there and should eat in that Brit Milah. And he says that such a person is, um, is, is, is since he eats in that Brit Milah, he doesn't need to do Hatarat Nedarim. Shulchan Aruch seems to argue on that. In Resh Yudalad, in Red Eye, brings down that a person that was usually fasting in a Seret Yemet Shuva, and now he's sick, and he can't fast anymore, he should do Hatarat Nedarim. Is that a contradiction? Is that an argument? Says the Gul Mirvava. No. The Gul Mirvava explains that. There's distinctions between the two. In a Brit Milah, since it's a one-time thing, you don't need to do hatarat nedarim. Why? Because eno chozer bo mimin hago legamre. You don't retract from your normal custom, from your normal minhag. Right now, you need to eat. That's permitted without hatarat nedarim. But if you retract completely because a person became sick and he can't fast anymore, that's it. He completely wants to stop doing that, then he needs to do Atarat Nedarim. Same thing would apply today. If a person needs and feels that need to listen to music just this year for Sfirat Omer up to Lag Omer that's permitted anyway from then on, a person does not need to do Atarat Nedarim. I hope this year clarified a little bit, shed a little bit light on this dark time about the topic of listening to music in Sfirat HaOmer this time.